We are going to be looking how to fix network issues on a Windows 11 operating system. If you are working with a Windows 11 operating system or Windows 10 device, you will definitely encounter a network issue on your device if you like it or not. So there are different tools you can actually use to troubleshoot your device. First of all, I'm working with an Azure virtual machine. So here you can see I have internet access. There is no problem network with the network connection there is no problem on this device but if you have a network issue on this device let me show you how to fix it first of all what you want to do is the following you want to go to your settings and from settings you want to go to system and then you want to scroll down and then click troubleshoot on that troubleshoot you want to click other troubleshooters and here you want to actually click run on a network and internet you want to click run to allow this device to see if there are any issues on this device and it will actually try to fix itself but at the same time you can see what it's going to do it's going to let's help you get connected well you can see first of all it's telling me that i'm connected you are connected to the internet we didn't find any issue if i'm not connected to the internet it's going to you there's going to be kind of a cross sign here telling me that i don't have access to the internet and again you can see say recommendation so it's giving me different options to actually try we can actually restart our device we can restart our modem our router and switch we can check the internet cables so these are how different options is actually giving me to actually try and see if i have issues on my device well if there are no issues on my device what we can also do is the following we can also also go to our network and internet and from here you can see we have our internet says connected as a public network here you can see it says connected so you want to check first of all if you are receiving the right ip address well you can see i have the right ip address and make sure that it's not like 169 that is a kind of an ip ip address which means you're not getting the right ip address so you can totally restart your modem and probably that problem will be fixed so let me go back again and then here let's go to advanced network settings and then from there we can decide to go to advanced sharing but let's go back again i mean okay at the advanced network settings i mean the reset not the advanced network setting here we have network reset so we can actually click on network reset then we can now reset now by resetting now mind you it will actually try to reset your network adapter and then try to reconfigure your ip address and try to see if there are any issues on your device or not if that does not work you want to also try to restart your device as an option to also see if that fixed the issue but at the same time we can decide to go to start the command prompt and then from the command prompt we can decide to ping for example a different device entirely if for example i have a device called cc01 and i try to ping it if there are no connection to that device you think okay and you have a network uh, issue but if you are able to connect to that device for example you are working in a network environment you are able to con to ping that device which means there is a kind of a network in internally there is no problem which means your access to the internet is the issue so let me clear clear the screen what you can also do is we can decide to say let me say just ping google.com and see right now you can see we are seeing some response which means we have access to google so we can also use a command that is called trace root that is called the trace rot for short as trace root then i have this device name that's a windows 10 a windows 10 device so i want to trace if i can if i can connect to that device so i should just click enter and you can see that i was able to connect to that device so let's say you are trying to trace a device for example in a different zone if you are working in a network environment um you can actually try to so by tracing that device go to go through different environment through different routes you can see that actually i'm using a cloud device it's actually actually an azure virtual machine you can see that the uh, milliseconds is just one milliseconds and that's the ip address so it goes very very fast but if for example i'm trying to trace a different device in a different zone definitely it's going to take me a long time and there if there's a kind of a um a bottleneck there's a kind of the network field then i'll be able to see where it actually fails and from there i can decide to actually fix the issue you can also do for example you can do trace route to google.com 
to actually try to see over maximum hopes of data and as the IP address of Google. So it's actually try to trace the route of Google and then if there are any issues from there, you can actually try to see, okay, where the issue lies. So let me just cancel that for now. But at the same time, again, what you want to do, I want to, let me just clear the screen and enter IP config. My entering IP config is going to give me some very short details about my network connection, my IP address, the subnet mask, and my default gateway. So we can decide to actually work with this and provide this information to your network assistants and see if they can help you fix the issue. But if I enter IP config slash all, so it's going to give me more details of my IP address, my subnet mask, when this IP was leased and when it's going to expire the default gateway you can even see the dscp server and more in the dns server and more information so it's giving me more than actual i actually got from here you can see here we didn't get the dns we didn't get like the lease but here it's giving me more information about my network adapter so these are just some of the simple command you can actually use to actually reset and um, check your network connection and see if there are issues with your device. So I'm just showing you some of the simple ways you can actually use to check, but there are more advanced ways we can actually try to troubleshoot uh, device using. For example, I can use the command net. Let's use the command net start. So net start is going to display all active connections and listening port. You can see it's going to dis dis display all that you can see all the local address so it's going to display all the see the different on all the listening ports they are actually using right now so it's going to display you can see all the all the the same as the let me just enter ip config to show you something you can see that's my ip address so you can see the ip address but you can see the port attached to it and the foreign address you can see the state say established this has been actually close and here's the time wait so these are the some of the some of the tools you can actually use to actually troubleshoot your network connections and there are actually more um tools you can actually use more command which of course is more advanced for advanced users if for example you are you are connected using the wireless connection let me just cancel that we can try to use the mesh double lan show interfaces but mind you i don't have a net i don't have the wallet or the configure service is not running because it's not running on this device but if i go to my other device let me open my from my physical device i'm using to connect and i enter the same command let me just copy this not to copy this and i then paste it here i hit enter here you can see the connection of my the wi-fi connection you can see say state disconnected radio status is hardware is on so you can you can see that this is actually disconnected because i'm using a cable to connect to this um, laptop but at the same time if for example you're having issues you can actually check and see if it's disconnected or not